Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, we've got three children. Uh, we're proud of all of them, and uh, they've turned out really well. And I give a lot of credit to my wife and, of course, uh, God, who uh, has given us some direction as it relates to our kids. And, um, you know, it's been amazing to see uh, all kids are individual, to see how they grow and develop. Cam, uh, as he mentioned, uh, uh, I think I've told this story before, but when he was really young, uh, two years old, I think, you know, he was a pretty big kid, kind of rough, and, uh, you know, you hang out with a lot of your teammates, and our kids had a chance to grow up together uh, in the lack of free agency back in the day. And so, uh, so I just see him playing with kids, and I remember seeing him banging his head against the wall one time, and I was like, man, I can't wait to get him on the football field. And, and then, of course, you know, years go by, and he starts to think he's going to be the next basketball uh, player. Uh, yeah, legend. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so finally, that's where we had that, that epiphany moment of, dude, I need you to go play football for a little bit. And, and then so when I started seeing the things that he started to find, some of that passion, uh, for football, and I started to see this athleticism, and then it was amazing to see how his body was starting to develop. I knew he was going to be a big kid, but um, but to turn around and be this rangy guy uh, with this kind of size that he has, with the athleticism, that was what really uh, was exciting. And uh, I always said, you know, it should have been a tight end because uh, he can catch everything and, and to be able to run and, and uh, be that athletic at that size would be amazing, but. Uh, he wanted to do his own thing, and he likes to hit. So go ahead and knock yourself out, be on defense, and, uh, and do that. So again, we're, we're, we're full of uh, pride about you know, what he's done, but really thankful for God to uh, give us an opportunity to you know, raise our kids, him being one of them, and to, to have this level of success on the field. You know, it, 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 there, are, there are a lot of uh, uh, coincidences. I mean, it, it's just ironic. I looked at it, my rookie year was in 82. Uh, that was the uh, the lockout there. There was an eight week lockout during the season. Very ironic that, that my son would come into a lockout year. And we we've talked a little bit about that. Uh, it's unfortunate that I'm seeing. It's almost like a deja vu in some regards. Seeing a lot of things that that are recurring from before. Some of the uh, propaganda that's put out there uh, by um, the NFL and. Uh, and it's just unfortunate uh, when, uh, when again, the fans really, you know, football is at an all-time high in terms of uh, ratings and publicity and, and uh, you know, the, the fan uh, base. And to have this happen is really unfortunate. But I also look and see, uh, you know, the legal maneuvers. I, I'm good with the fact that we got there sooner than later. Uh, again, people talk about... Well, they got to get back to the negotiation table, and of course, that's where the uh, NFL wants us to be. But the reality is, uh, you know, they had two years <laughs> to negotiate, and nothing really happened. And um, and then we get into this, ooh, you know, we're in an intense time, and the, the impending date is coming up, and we really have to negotiate. Well, I don't buy into that. You know, again, you had two years to get something done. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm obviously going to be a little biased uh, because of the information that I have. But um, there were plenty of opportunities to really give some substantive um, uh, proposals to the NFLPA. Because again, we didn't opt out, right? <laughs> we were here, we said, hey, let's play. Uh, then even in the end, when we had that extension, um, there was work to be done. And the NFL gave us a proposal at noon on Friday. You know, just not, not that excited about that. But, Unfortunately, that's what used to happen back in the day. That's what happened back in the in the '80s. That's what happened back in '87 uh, when we started to go through those those that whole '87 to '92 scenario. So um, the other thing, uh, from an observation standpoint, is the guys that are in the league now. Again, if you you know you all know this, I mean, absent of like a Brett Favre or somebody who's been around 20 years, a lot of these guys have never seen labor unrest. You know, they don't even understand this. I mean, it was like, man, we were getting along so well and. You know, life is good and all that. And now, uh, to see this this drama unfold, uh, they've had to get this quick awakening uh, and a rude awakening of, hey, it's it's not, you know, we're, we're off the farm now. You know, it's 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 a it's a war. And um, I'm just hoping that uh, it's great to see that the judges and, and the legal system is making some good decisions. Uh, one of the best decisions in my mind was to not advance the owners the, the money from the, the TV. I mean, that's just, that's a party foul, you know? I mean, you know, games aren't going to get played, but yet we're going to get money anyway. 
you know, that's not that's not fair. Um, lock the guys out, and um, when when they just won't come to work, and the judge obviously looked at that. Now there's going to be some more legal stuff going on, but that will be what it will be. So, you know, that's just some of my observations on, on what I what I see what what I see from a perspective of a guy who's kind of been there, done that, and seeing it. Uh, Replay itself now. Yeah, I can say 1982. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's unfortunate. <clears throat> 57 days. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly.